Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Tales of Vesperia. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had just gotten to the other Cape Town, on the other side of the little river, I think. I don't know. I, I wasn't quite sure of the geographical way it worked out, but... We are here, we found the inn, and now I just need to figure out where I'm going to go, <laughs> because I don't know anymore. Uh, it's been so long since the last episode. Um, let's, let's look at Fortune's Market, why not? Welcome, you've come to the only store in Torum. Really? Interesting. You do have a lot of stuff. Hmm. Might be a Y. Oh, okay, that was not necessary. Alright. I'm just looking to see what I already have. Heavy Mall. Huh. Oh yeah, that's right. I have him learning on the Great Axe. That's right. That's... I already have one. Okay. I'm just... Looking through, looking through all the stuff. Potato! Potato! Okay. Well, I'm gonna grab a few of these things. Because I have the money to do it. And I figure, why not? Just up my uh, stores of things up to 10. There we go. That should be good. And. I should buy a lot more orange gels. <laughs> Okay, that should do it. I I will blow through orange gels like it's nobody's business. I have learned my lesson <laughs> that that will happen. It's fine. Okay. Um, synthesis. Pineapple gel. Grapes, melons, oranges, and coconut shells. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I remembered that bit. A round shield. Ah. A metal coated shield capable of stopping strong and large swing attacks and it would be equal to what she's already carrying but have items not items uh skills attached to it guard impact guard plus two and exp share interesting a long sword which is though Far weaker. Huh. It's far weaker than what I would currently have. And I've already learned all the skills associated with it anyway. A heavy maul plus one. Huh. And a morning star plus one. A scarf plus one. Damn it. <laughs> Doug Dimma damn it. Owner of the Dimsdale Dimma Dam. So I already have a leather whip, which she's going to learn from. But apparently the leather whip plus one has different abilities? Entirely? Kogarashi plus one. It's far weaker than what he currently has. But it's half damage, quarter damage, and minimum damage. Don't know what that is, but I want to look into it. Tamahagane. And I got an achievement. Little mad scientist. <laughs> Perform synthesis 20 times. Once you complete this, you'll have every rep... So pay what? every recipe memorized i had to look at it pop up on my computer to be able to read the rest of that but all right cool got it memorized i guess i do all right um hmm 
Interesting, interesting. I already have these. These are weaker. Okay, cool. Hard mail is really bad. Lambalar leather. Okay. All right. Okay. You know what? I have to stop this right here. Stray is about to go on a. Uh, <laughs> Stray is about to go on a very angry uh, fantasy rant. Um, I am not arguing about the existence of lamellar leather armor. I am not going to argue that point because there is there is a lot of examples of plenty of other types of armor that leather might be feasible. It wouldn't have been very common. Uh, I feel like metal would have been easier to get more of to do lamellar or, you know, bone or what have you than leather, because leather, especially if it's extra tough layer, leather would require far more of it to be able to feasibly make strong enough plates to be considered armor. The, the thing I take issue with, <laughs> the thing I take issue with is that it apparently is stronger and more sturdy than a metallic armor, which by the way, metallic is misspelled, but that is not true. There is no way that's possible. No, 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 I don't believe you, game. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you, sir? Mm. Okay. Anyway, I can make two of these. It's fine. I guess. Okay. Also, I want to check the rest of this. That's what she's currently wearing. Lamel. A chain mail consisting of small plates laced together in a parallel row. So this is metal? This is metal? And it requires two mains anyway. Okay, well that's annoying. But. Thief's jacket. Already equipped with that. Steel protector. Simple armor made of steel plates connected by ropes. Flesh can get pinched between the gaps sometimes. Ouch. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Feather cloak for Rita. This garment is as light as feather. Not only is it light, it is durable too. I would just need medium-sized bird feathers, which I thought I had. Okay. Fair enough. Anyway. I'm going to be looking at everything else. Talisman, attack ring, cape, leather, cape, leather boots, Sphira? A sculpture of an unnamed goddess. Equip it to earn one and a half times more gold. Huh. Well, then... I'm just going to make the two of these just so I can equip the other two in the armor that should be inferior but isn't for reasons I don't understand. And then I will fix the rest later, I guess. Okay, equip. Lamellar <laughs> leather. Ah, there's no way that should work. None. All right, and I've learned... Ow. She already has Scarf plus one. Okay, fair enough. And here I was thinking I goofed up. Um, chain plus one. She already did all that. Quite frankly, I'd rather wait for Leather Whip plus one until I get the skills on the original... <laughs> throat's trying to give out on me on the original leather whip be 
because it gets completely replaced when it's leveled up. So, yeah. Kogarashi. Okay, um... Time to sell the old stuff. Because the armor can't be uh, upgraded, apparently. But the weapons can, so... I guess we gotta keep that. Keep that. Huh. Okay. Kogarashi. Okay. Oh, I got wards for those two things. That's cool. Hmm. All right. Thank you. Please come again. I will probably have to soon. Now, where do I have to go again? <laughs> I don't remember. Boy, oh boy. Is that... Um, uh, is that a standing living fish just flapping in the breeze? Is this that fucking recipe guy again? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Guess you found me. You're pretty good. You were a fish standing up in the middle of a market. What do you mean? You're pretty good. Okay. All right. I'll teach you to cook as a reward. Thank you. <laughs> I figured it would have the fish theme. But no, it's fried chicken and fries. I'll give you this so you can practice. Obtained three sets of ingredients for the recipe. Gotta go till we meet again. Okay. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, this is a ship I took. Sea breeze. The breeze that blows in a port city makes everything feel so different. It smells like the sea. Stand in the ocean wind too long and you'll get covered in salt, you know. Thank you for ruining my mood. Hey, feel free to get all sticky and gross. I won't stop you. Okay. Well. <laughs> so, one likes the sea. It just likes the smell of it. And the feel of it. And the other one's more of a realist. <laughs> and just does not like anything outside of their comfort zone. Which, I mean, I understand, but still. Torm Warehouse. This is the Fortune's Market Stock Warehouse. It's a mess in there. Trust me, you don't want to see it. Are you sure? Lighthouse Keeper's House. It's locked. Okay, well. That limits my options. Where I can go. Who are you? Rago closed down the Capua Nor port, and now we can't even run our liner service. Are you drunk? Torum feels a lot more like a port city than Nor did, don't you think? Yes, it's lively, and the port is full of ships. That's because Torum is run by Fortune's Market. They control shipping all over the world. I'm pretty sure Fortune's Market has their headquarters in Torum. I guess business can keep a city running if people want it to. I never would have thought of that. Hmm. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. What we got over here? Something I can't go on to. Alright. Let's 
Well, I guess I'll just be exploring around. Not like I have anything else I can do. Torum Orphanage is written on the side of the entrance. A lot of children are playing and having fun inside. Well, at least they're having fun. Most orphanages are not a fun experience. Well, I mean, for anyone. But especially the kids stuck in there. Most of the time, they don't even want to be stuck in there. It took me a second to finally get a look at this guy. The fuck, dude? <laughs> what the hell is that mask? Is that a... One of those pig creatures? Did you carve the face off of... Are you... F okay. Alright. Flynn is waiting at the inn. Uh, okay. I guess I needed to be in the inn after all. Pollock's tea. Alright. Well, hi there. Hello, you cuties. How about a game... How'd you like a game with little old me? Do you think I'll be a pushover just because I'm a woman? You're going to get burned. Uh huh. I'm plenty tougher than any of the lousy men around here. Okay, well, you didn't even offer the game. Aha! You! You read as mad. Yes? Have we met somewhere? Uh, yeah. Convenient time for amnesia. I know somebody who can fix that for you. Yeah, I bet. Amnesia? I'm terribly sorry, but this is the first time we've met. You... Son of a bitch. I was going to say stupid son of a bitch, but he's playing stupid what he's doing. I could tell by that fucking smug-ass look on his face. I could tell because that's my facial look anytime... <laughs> Anytime I'm pulling this shit at work. Uh. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Are you crazy? Ah, uh, clearly. Magistrate, your crimes are undeniable. These people have seen everything. As I've just been explaining, someone had assumed my identity and was trying to ruin my reputation. Someone assumed your identity with the exact same facial features on your old ass face. Including the fucking mole. It was most upsetting. Aha. Uh -huh. Liar! I saw those people you fed to the monsters with my own two eyes! Well, Sir Flynn, who are you to believe? These young ruffians or me, a member of the council? Oh, you fucking son of a bitch. Pull the I'm on the council card. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, boy. Flynn. It's settled then. I bid you all good day. Flynn, are you for real? We're just letting him. Who does go that away. guy think he is? Yeah, good question. And who the hell is he? That might have been a little more <laughs> than was necessary for your anger. But I understand. Who is this guy? Settle down. I'm curious. This is. This is His Royal Highness Yoder, candidate for the Imperial Throne. Ah. <laughs> Rita's like, oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, Rita probably shouldn't have been yelling at the Royal Highness, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, right, Estelle. Good one. Carol, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> what? That wasn't a joke. I'm only one of the candidates. Well, true, but still. It's true. With the passing of the previous Emperor, Master Yoder is a rightful heir to the throne. Among, apparently, multiple, if it's one of the candidates. 
Really? I guess so, yes. really. Hmm. An alleged Imperial heir captured by a so-called magistrate. That's interesting. That it is. I see. Then this incident means that I... You what? A little too juicy for public consumption, huh? I... I just... It's got something to do with your decision to leave the castle, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <sighs> do whatever you want. I've got no interest in an empire that just sits and does nothing while its people suffer in plain sight. Yep. That makes sense why he left the Imperial Knights. That makes a lot of sense. Yuri. And what have you changed by turning your back on such an empire? We need just laws laid down by the government to ensure that people can live lives of stability and peace. Yeah, but then none of them are actually being followed by the people in power. So, I mean, take of that what you will. Those same laws just let Rago walk out that door. Which is why you and I became knights, Yuri. To change things like that. If we couldn't make it happen by yelling about it from below, then we said we'd gain honor and trust and fix the Empire from within. Well, you're doing a bang-up job of it so far. Remember? So, in order to get ahead in life, I'm supposed to stand by while somebody feeds little kids to monsters? Is that it? Yeah, apparently, yeah. You want me to look the other way when our people in the lower quarter are being bled dry by taxes? Yeah. It's I because guess. I can't do those things that I quit being a knight. I know, but has anything changed because you quit? Ugh. <clears throat> Ah, uh, that's, that's a hell of an argument right there. How is anything different than it was before you joined the Knights? Wait, I'm coming too! <sighs> I've done it again. Yep. I only want for him to move on with his life. To quit sitting around. Flynn, I... My apologies for such an embarrassing scene. <sighs> what do you bad. intend to do next? Would it be all right if I go with him? I assume, yeah, it should be okay. Why? I feel like so much has changed during my travels with Yuri. The Empire, the world. Or at least your perception of them, yeah. I've changed as well. Lady Estelise. Understood. All righty. You there, young man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you. Who? <laughs> Me? Yeah, you pipsqueak. Tell Yuri to take good care of this young lady. Okay. All right. Is it really all right? I would rather do the job myself, but I'm afraid my current duties won't allow it. Oh, yeah? And as long as you're with him, I can be certain you'll be safe. Well, there you go. You believe in him, don't you? I do. Well, there you go. If you guys are finished, can we get going? We'll lose him if we don't hurry. Fair enough. And I'll be over here punching a wall. Damn, he knows how to get to me. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I know better than anyone that nothing's changed. Yeah. Well. There's not much you can do from either side. At least not without a severely rocking the boat. And usually that is what gets you... Sleeping with the fishies, as it were, and to borrow a mobster, uh, mobster phrase. I guess I should look for clues about the Blastiocor. Yeah. yeah, you probably should. Parted with everyone. The way he looks, Barbo should stick out like a sore thumb walking around in town. True. But it'd sure help if anyone saw where he and his gang were headed. Come to think of it, I wonder what happened to Raven back in Rago's palace. I guess he panicked and ran when the Dragon Rider and the Knight showed up. Hmm. Might have. Good day. Do you want to know? If, do you want to know about synthesizing? A uh, casual ear grabber. Hmm. Sub weapons. Do you see the section titled "Sub" under the equipment menu? 
In addition to main weapons, each character can also equip a sub-weapon. For instance, Yuri can equip gloves, and Rapide can equip collar-type items such as a sub-weapon. Rather, as a sub-weapon. Oh boy, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Sub-weapons are extremely valuable and are not sold in shops. They can only be made through synthesis. Synthesis. <laughs> they can only be made through synthesizing. It is worthwhile to create sub-weapons. They have skills which you will find useful in your journey. Also, sub-weapons can affect the character's appearance. Try giving them a new look. Well, okay, fair enough. Uh, materials dropped by bosses. Some stronger enemies might drop raw materials needed for synthesis. I can, I can speak English, really, I can't. <laughs> this is not... <laughs> this is not <laughs> This is not a test of my ability to speak English. It's just a very hard word. Synthesization. <laughs> this type of raw material is likely to yield some good items. For instance, you can create a poison charm with a 50% poison defense from an antibiotic material. Come check back to see if you can use these raw materials to synthesize something special. Alrighty. And synthesizing with equipped weapons. You can synthesize a new item with the item that's still equipped. So say you equip a wood maul. You don't have to unequip it to create a wood maul plus one. Synthesizing can be done while an item is still equipped, but raw materials will be used up. Before synthesizing a new weapon, it is a good idea to check whether you finished learning a skill first. Which is why I haven't gotten rid of the leather whip yet. And we're good. I'll let you know when there's new information. Check back often. We'll do. Well, we were just talking about Raven. Hey, it's him. Yeah, how about that? Huh? <laughs> hey there. Long time no see. Yeah, I'd say. Isn't there something else you should be saying? Yeah. Something else? Hmm. Can't think of anything. Well, they say the deceived have better memories than the deceivers, don't they? Yeah, they seem to. I'm just terribly misunderstood. <laughs> Honest. Shut the fuck up. You need to see a doctor for your tendency to unconsciously cause trouble to others. Yeah. You might see if you can get that foul mouth of yours checked out, too. <laughs> Excuse me? Pardon? This is a direct attack on me. <laughs> this is what this feels like. <laughs> you had a comeback for everything, huh? If you don't stop putzing around, the knights are going to throw you back in jail. Hey, that's my phrase. Yuri's using my shtick. <laughs> Although, is it really my shtick, really? <laughs> Do I really own <laughs> putzing around? I guess not. Still. Ha! <laughs> the knights are a bit too busy to bother with me. Yeah, for right now. I saw a rough-looking guild group moving to the northwest not too long ago. Oh? The knights can't just turn a blind eye to them, can they? Probably rough not. Rough-looking, you say? Was it the Blood Alliance? Beats me. Oh, so By he the doesn't way, even know. What was your business back there? Nothing special. I was looking for an apatheia. The fuck what is, is an, an apatheia? Apatheia. <laughs> Supposed to be like a really strong core. Oh. Heard that it was there, but I guess I had the wrong information. Or maybe it was leavened with truth. Truth? Truth? Boof? What am I becoming, Sean? <laughs> um, it was probably that big amalgam that acted like an apatheia, but it was just an amalgamation of other blastia. I see. An apatheia. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yuri! Hey, over here! Ah, uh, Carol. Uh, I'll get you, old man! Oh, uh, Rita's so hmm. still mad. Maybe I'd best be off now. No. Yep, the Amazonas has emerged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clearly, Rita, the Amazonian. <laughs> Too 
<laughs> ah, Rita. Why'd you let him get away? Because I got the info I needed. He said he's terribly misunderstood. <laughs> and you believed him? What? What does that mean? What do you think that means? Oh, he got away. I'll catch that bugger one of these days. Oh, bugger. Damn. Rita dropping the harsh ones. You should leave him be. Going up against that kind of guy is just a waste of energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? <laughs> you alright? Just let me take a, a little break. Sure, you can was, have a little that, one. Then we've got to go. That was a short run. What do you mean, a little break? Jesus. Go? Go where? We need to follow the Blood Alliance to get back the lower quarters blast you. True. Did you get a lead on where to go next? Yeah. I heard buddy. that a shady group from a guild was headed to the northwest. It might be them. Probably. To the northwest of here. The only city I can think of in that direction would be one that was destroyed in an earthquake. What oh. could they want to do in a place like that? Well, I mean, if it's a city destroyed in an earthquake, it's abandoned. There isn't going to be a lot of guards or anything, really, authority-wise, standing around there. They're free to do their plotting and evil deeds as they see fit. Yeah, I could see. I could see why that would work. Yeah, makes sense. Hmm, good question. I just answered it, Yuri. <laughs> and yet, you still want to go? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying we should go and check it out. Yeah, it's an, an idea. That's a lead. Might as well. Reunited with everyone. Yay! Hey, Carol, do you know anything else about that city you said was destroyed in an earthquake? Just rumors. Supposedly it was some guild's headquarters about ten years ago. Which guild was that? Sorry, I can't help you there. Mm. I've never heard of an earthquake that destroyed an entire city. Well, Ospio is across the ocean. Maybe the information just never made it that far? Hmm, I wonder. That is an interesting question. One that I can't answer. That's for damn sure. Away I go. Return to the field map. Well. Oh boy. Oh boy. Looks like we got... Them here. Yeah. Hello. Hmm. Welcome to the King of Adventure. Oh, it's you. Wonderful to see you again. Yeah, it's been a while. What pleasant serendipity that we would run into each other yet again. I thought we'd see them again. Oh, big brother, you're ever so blunt. Who are these people? This is Karen and Rich. They're traveling around and operating an inn. Nice to meet you. Ugh. N nice to meet you, too. It seems you have more companions since the last time we met. How nice. Perhaps you'd like to stop and rest? Yeah, I could use some rest. I agree. I'm kind of tired out myself. Well, then, we'll be taking you up on your offer. Please, make yourselves at home. It's clearly supposed to be practice, but what is this animation? <laughs> what is this? Oh, Jesus. Hmm, that's a pretty ancient looking sword. Hmm. The blade's gotten real dull, too. It's no longer anything more than an antique, unfit to cut man or beast. Is that sword important to you? belong to someone I respect. I just can't get rid of it. Rich, it seems like you're not running a traveling inn just for the heck of it, am I right? Hmm. You shouldn't be so nosy, Carol. It's alright. I'm... I'm a warrior, not an innkeeper. I left my village with Karen to slay giganto monsters. I was 15 at the time. 
Giganto. When you were 15? How old are you now? I'm 28. Uh oh. Fuck. When I'm older than the character. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> I'm so old. Ah. <laughs> okay. 13 years. That's pretty long. Yeah, you're not wrong. The Giganto Monster. That's the name of a giant type of monster living all over the world. I heard that an extermination force sent by the Empire to kill them was entirely wiped out. Until every single one of those monsters has fallen, I cannot go back to my hometown. Why is that? Sounds like there's something you're not telling us. Maybe we can help. Seems like you're having a tough time of it. But you see... I don't know the details, but you're committed to doing this yourself. But you committed to doing this yourself, didn't you? Yeah. And it sounds like this is up to him, Carol. Y yeah. That actually kind of was coincidentally timed <laughs> that I actually had to yawn, so it worked out for the bit. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I slept like a trick yo-yo. What? 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 If you ever happen to see us around again, please stop and say hello. Yes, thank you so much. You're so kind. Later. Big brother, I keep telling you, try to be more friendly. Ah, uh, Maybe we should have helped them. We can't solve all of the world's problems by ourselves, but I'll damn well try. Though if we ever happen to run into those monsters that he was talking about, we might as well take care... May, might as well take them out for him. I was going to say take care of them for him. But uh, I guess both work. I don't see any problem with doing that much. Yeah, alright. And we're good. Turn to the field map. And it won't let me go around here, will it? Nope, it will not. Oh! Oh! Huh. Interesting. Ow. Oh, man. All right, all right. Yeah, there was no avoiding that. Destructo pain shot. What the hell is that even? Mean. Starstroke. Yeah, I beat you into next week. Yeah. Next week? But can you really? Never mind. Never mind. My headset kicked out during the middle of that. That was weird. Max HP and max TP at the end of the battle. Uh, max for who? Because I do not have max. Maybe you're talking about uh, Rita. Eh, still. Get some chicken out of that. Huh. Oh boy. Bye. <laughs> what the hell is this thing? Giant ass crab. Oh man. Crab. All right, all people. right. Crab. People. Ow. Here I go. Here I go. Straight back. Oh, 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 That's so good. Okay. Higher power, come to me. A flickering blade. First aim. Higher power. There's no way you could win. Yeah, I guess not. Finished with max HP and in 20 seconds. Got crab shell and salmon. Interesting. Hmm. 
Hmm. Where am I going? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm kind of exploring this area a little bit as well. Ah! Damn it. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't let him trip you up. Oh. Holy oh. Oh. Did oh. this oh. land. Oh. First oh. 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 a broken bag. Oh. Oh. What? Oh no, you're Oh, you There we go. Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? Yeah, it worked out kind of can you really? Never mind. Got a broken dagger, bread, life bottle. Okay, sure. Ah, repeat learned thievery. That was what I saw, right? Skills available through equipment. Defend. Okay. Um, hmm. Wasn't in here. So it was arts, is what I'm thinking that was. Yeah, it was arts and thievery. Steal an item from an enemy. Huh. Interesting. Didn't know that that could be learned. Also, this looks like something I want to take from. Let's work together. Until that happens. This? No, this isn't scary. Your legs are shaking. You're kidding. Yeah, I am. Ah, <laughs> uh, great as always. What's this? Blastium ore and magic resin. Ore that contains air and... Oh, I didn't get to see the other thing. More of it. And there we go. Magic resin. Liquid concentrated with magical powers. Created by refining magic sap. Ah, there we go. That used up all of the thing. Hmm. Interesting little path. Ah, uh, so I get in here and it's raining. No, 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 no. Okay, well I ran into. Let's work together. Accidentally. Oops. Ow! Holy destruction! Come to me! First, let them die undisturbed purity. Ow! Someone's knocking me out of my attack animation. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Oh, I feel so powerful. Good for you. All right. Well, um, I'm going to see how the equipment actually is for these guys, so I know what they're learning. Okay. Oops, that's not what I meant. Uh, equipment for you. I still have to learn the EXP share. Still have to learn the EXP share. You've already learned... Sp no, actually, you haven't learned spirits. What? Why haven't you learned spirits yet? Huh? Or did you already learn it? Maybe, maybe she already learned it. Huh. Morning Star will be equipped next, so she can learn Roll and Endure. Huh. Oh, I guess he's already learned everything. Okay, well, in that case, move on to Heavy Maul. <sighs> Alright, let's do Kogarashi plus one. It'll knock his attack down a lot, but <sighs> those skills, I'm kind of curious. Do what? The physical attack is only <laughs> plus one. Is that why it's so low? Holy jeez. Skill. 
Damage inflicted will be reduced to one half, one fourth, and one. Huh. Well, those would be nice to have. Hmm. No, oh, yeah. That's that's a good idea. Well. What a pain! They're everywhere. Well. Crush them all. It is what it is. Ow. You little shit. How's this? Nice aim attack! Photon! Take this! Ezra Wolf! Holy power, come to me! Alright, who's next? First aid! There we go. Holy power, come to me! That worked out beautifully. Destruction! Holy power, come to me! Ow. First aid! Alright! That is working out beautifully. Ow. How do I use a lot of my TP? Huh. Yeah, heal item was used. It's fine. It's fine. Soft tail. Tobishian fish. Tolbishian fish. Is that the name of this continent? Tolbishia? Tolbishia? I don't know. I don't know. I just keep getting stronger! Good for you. Alright, well, apparently I'm assuming this is the ruined city. Which is fine in its own way. I just kind of want to explore this area a little bit more. Huh. What is that about? I don't know, but... Oh, jeez. They're all... Oh, of course. They're all clustering around here now. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. Well, I mean. Oh, would you stop it? I figured it would attack them. Ah, that actually worked. Ah. And that worked out beautifully. Alright. Could have been worse. Alright. Well, oh, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here before it just keeps on coming and don't stop coming. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Get out of here with that. I'm gonna head over here. And I'm going to see if I can save. And maybe... I can save out here. Beautiful. So on the field map, I can save. Makes more sense. Anyway, time to end the episode because it's gone on a little too long and I need to get my bearings straight. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and... Trying to figure out where to go next, uh, and do it with, you know, also leveling up our characters and getting them as, uh, strong as they're going to possibly need to be. And, uh, also trying to make sense of the story so far, because I gotta admit, I've just been along for the ride. I haven't been able to <laughs> just sit down and really take it all in. Maybe in a bit. Like, maybe, I don't know. Eventually I'll get it. For you.